This is the second part of uh, programming version one of the ice cream store. So in between recording, I went ahead and I wrote the code that goes in the workbook that just opens the ice cream store uh, form, shows it when you open the workbook. So that's done. And here's my code that I've written so far. Uh, I'm going to put option explicit at the top here too. And right here is where your banner comment will go. So I'll just indicate that like this. Oops, except I need a uh, quote mark and I'll fill that in later. All right, now what about the code? Well, let's remember our flow chart. And the first thing we're going to do is set num scoops to equal the um, what's written in the text box. So it's txt, I um, don't remember. Let's remember what it's called, txt scoops. Okay, back to the code. Dot text. But now we have a little conflict here because this is text and this is an integer. So Visual Basic will do this for me, but I want us to be conscious about data types here. So what I'm going to do is explicitly convert it to an integer. So that's my number of scoops. And now my scoop cost is going to be the number of scoops times, I use asterisk for that, the scoop price. Um, okay, so now that we have the scoop cost, we can get the tip amount. It just equals the scoop cost times the tip percent. And if you remember my flow chart, I had already figured out what this calculation was going to be on there. And now my total cost is just the scoop cost plus the tip amount. Okay, now let's decorate this with a few comments here for the benefit of anyone who's reading it later. So I'm going to say here, first we're going to get the number of scoops ordered. Okay, and we're going to compute the cost of the ice cream tip and total. Okay, and um, to make this show up, I don't want to make a banner out of it, but I'm going to put three asterisks. So this shows that this is a major step of the program. Uh, corresponding to what we had as a major step in our flow chart. Okay, and our, then our final major step that we have left is to print the receipt. So, okay, so to do that, um, what we're going to do is have list, um, let's remember what we call the list box here. List receipt, duh. Okay. List receipt, add item. So that's the first action there. That's what we want. Notice the action has a different little icon from a property, but it's still a thing we can put after the dot. And now, what item do we want to add? Well, let's start with a little message um, like. Thank you for your order. So that'll be at the top. And then I want to have a um, blank line. So, okay, add item. To get a blank line, each add item is on its own line. So I'll just print a, a line, a null line. 
then uh, list receipt dot add item. Notice I'm writing L L S T receipt here. Um, okay, so you ordered, and I'm going to put quote. Now ampersand. Now the number of scoops, and I want to change it to a string. So C S T R. We'll change it to a string. None scoops. Ampersand. Quote of ice cream. End quote. Okay, so that makes a string that says you ordered however many of ice cream. Oh, I better put the word scoops here. We'll see if that'll fit in our receipt window. Okay, and now I want to say how much it costs. So list receipt, add item. Um, so we'll first we'll say cost of ice cream okay ampersand um let's see if we can do format currency uh and what we want is our scoop cost i've got some extra quote mark here Cost of ice cream blank. Okay. A space, so it won't be jammed right in. Okay. Add item. So quotes. Tip. Let's see. Thank you, even though it was involuntary, we made them pay it. And we'll put a space and a quote, ampersand, and let's add that, format, currency, uh, yes, tip, let's get that right here, tip amount. Okay, um, let's see, add item, total cost, and we'll put this ampersand on that. Cost. Okay, now I should have done this all along. I'm going to do a save. So file, save, and um, of course we need to save it as a macro enabled workbook. And I'm going to call it Ice Cream V1. Okay, and I'll save it on my desktop here. And now I want to try running it. So let's go over to Excel, and we can just run the open the workbook open macro, so we don't have to open it up again. So let's do our run. I'll enter my number of scoops. Let's say two. And there it is. Thank you for your order. You ordered two scoops of ice cream. The ice cream cost $1.50. Here's my tip, and here's my total. Okay, now what I need to do now, I'm not done. I have to run through my tests and make sure my tests all work. 